Today we're going to be having a look at the X Raider 7.1 from Ozentech. This is one of their lower end cards, but it does still have some key features. First of all, you've got support for 7.1 audio, so that means you can hook it up to basically any audio system that you can get your hands on for a PC. I don't know that there are too many people running, you know, 9.1 or 7.2 audio systems on their computers, but I mean, hey, if you're doing that, then feel free to uh, drop us a comment on the video and, you know, let me know, hey, Linus, you're off your rocker, you have no idea what you're talking about, I'm running that. So this is a PCI sound card. As I mentioned before, you've got support for 7.1 audio, but there's also some other cool stuff. First of all, you've got support for optical input and output, which is something that it has over its uh, little brother, the XStudio 5.1. And you've also got swappable op-amp sockets for all, um, all eight channels. So that's a pretty cool feature as well. We'll have a closer look at the card in just a minute. I just want to have a look at the accessory package. So they've got an easy setup guide. Uh, shows you how to install your drivers. And um, yeah, hey, look at that. They've even got instructions for downloading the drivers off the Ozentech website. Good work, Ozentech. That is the correct thing to do. What else do we have in here? We have a driver CD. Okay, so you probably won't need that because you can download the drivers off the manufacturer website. So that's it. That's the whole accessory package. Other than that, we've just got a card. Now, Ozentech cards, as I mentioned in my last unboxing of an Ozentech card, are generally speaking uh, the best purchase choice to make uh, in your price range, whatever your price range happens to be. So figure out your price range, how much do you want to spend on a sound card, and if you just buy an Ozentech card for however much that is, then you'll probably get pretty much the best card for your dollar. So here we are, we've got internal digital audio out. This is running off of the... Oh, can't see that. Huh. What chipset is that? Let me have a look. Well, apparently it's using an X-Gear 3 audio engine. Okay, whatever that means. And we're actually running a C-Media CMI8768 audio processor. I think it's just labeled a little bit differently. Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. I was just... Uh, Apparently I went crazy for a minute. I couldn't see the I couldn't see that right there. Okay. Never mind. I figured it out. So here's all your swappable op amp sockets. So you can go ahead, take those out. These will basically I mean amplification is what gives you most of the distortion in your audio. So if you replace them with a higher quality op amp or if you replace them with one that just sounds a little bit better to you, you can actually get a very customizable sound out of a fairly inexpensive card with that particular feature, so that's pretty cool. You've also got support for front panel audio, so there's no custom headers or anything like that. You just hook that right up to your front panel HD audio. So here we are, here is our digital uh, optical in and out, and then our 7.1 interface. So thank you for checking out my unboxing of the x Raider 7.1 PCI sound card. Oh yeah, oh, never mind, hold on. Apparently it has some unique karaoke functionality. Cool. You can add color with mic echo, key shifting, and vocal cancellation. That's a pretty neat software feature. Don't forget to subscribe to my video blog.